The Delumia mechanism is an extremely hard PvE challenge for only the elite of PvE players in Deep Woken. I think I finally discovered the best build to capitalize on the loot that you can get from the Delumia mechanism. Plus, it's also just a generally good PvE build. Look, I never said I was a PvE expert. I will never get past wave 20 on my own, and I fucking promise my life on that, bro. I have no idea how you're supposed to fight those dudes alone. But let's go over the build. So, as you can probably tell, the most noticeable thing is we have a battle axe. Now, a lot of people use Grand Sinaruska, but I feel like Blazing Enchant with Lava Serpent is just so much better than having a Grand Sinaruska, or even maybe going Chilling Enchant, but that actually defeats the purpose. So, never mind. But... We do that because we have zero heavy weapon. Here's the stats right here. So, what we're looking at 100 flame, flame charm. Obviously, you want floors lava. 30 strength, 30 fortitude for lose your mind. Uh, 80 willpower for heretic sutra. And you can also have flame within, or you could go lower frost draw for uh, whatever the fuck it's, whatever it's called. So, yeah, pretty simple stat layout. Um, I've seen a lot of videos of people. Going better builds because obviously mine is fucking not uh, as good as theirs. They're taking like 2% damage per thing, but let's graceful here. We'll, uh, let's look at the 
equipment I have on first. Or like our uh, stats here. So HP, kind of shit. Not the highest, you know. Everything else doesn't really matter. Um, 30% damage versus monsters, that's pretty decent. And I have 60 from talent bonuses, so if I got better gear, I'd have like 500 HP with my 30. 30% um, damage versus monsters. Uh, this is the only piece of equipment that matters. If you're shit like me, uh, Immortal Helm is actually just so fucking cracked. Bro. Oh my god, that thing fucking disappearing. But okay, yeah. Immortal Helm, really cracked. It's like super cracked. Um, the cooldown on this thing is 30 seconds. So like, if you're like clutching up wave 20, unlike me, because you're not ass and I am, um, you'd clutch it up and then you literally just wait 30 seconds to start the next wave. You, it's almost guaranteed that you will not die if you have uh, an Immortal's Helmet on. But if you are going my build as well, you're doing a deep fire ring uh, with Lava Serpent that... Oh my... So, yeah, anyway, deep fire ring uh, with Lava Serpent Path. It's going to lower the cooldown in between the procs by like a like very significant amount. It's almost like it's required. Like, I'm going to say it's required because when you're proccing Lava Serpent with your, with your Warden's Blades, you want it like as quick as possible, so... That's definitely a requirement. Um, mantras. Mantras, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is the layout that I have. I, I think this is basically the best layout, except, like, I don't I could get, like, Frozen Servants, but I'm about to punch my mod. Blinding Dawn. I think this mantra does probably the most in the game to PvE, except maybe Relentless Flames. So, you're going to want to go Dawn Walker and get this, because you also get the other combat slot. I have Fire Blade to break block on humanoid enemies. Ice Carve is really good. Warden's Blade is peak. Burning Servant's super good. And Relentless Flames. If you notice, all of my mantras I have pretty much, uh, common theme, they're all multi-hit. Because with the build, right, we all know Volcanic Glass, you're, um, and like those talents, your fire uh, procs the uh, crystals. And like they can like proc each other. So when you use like Warden's Blades, you're proccing uh, Lava Serpent and Crystals at the same time, and they're, the Lava Serpent's are erupting the Crystals, and it's, it, it, it's fucking insane. The, it's so strong in PvE. Um, pretty much every build I've seen uses fa Flame and Frost Draw, just like a variation. I'm in my own path. Uh, why do I have one?